It's your boy girl up here back in another video and today I got pleasure with you guys man today we're gonna be revisiting well not revisiting but we're gonna be actually revisiting all the LFs that was announced in 2022 so uh for 2022 we have Bardock, Jiren, and 1718 I was like you know what let's just rock them all together and see what they can do so you can put Bardock as leader and you can kind of make a powerful opponent team because 17, 18, and Jiren are part of the powerful opponent team. So I was just like, yeah, let's just rock that. And one thing about Bardock's Z ability is he also buffs HP. So since he's in the leader slot, you can get double HP from him and the Super Saiyan Broly for PO. So we're gonna rock them there. The only problem with this team is just that my, my star is just slow. I have a three star. I have a three star 17 18 i have a six star jiren and i have a seven star barn off right like especially when you're facing against like higher people in the ranks bro when they have the red stars bro sometimes you just lose because you just don't have enough damage or enough stars to really get you over the hump sometimes but it's a fun team you know we're gonna talk about it. we'll see what they can do and yeah let's get on with it so one thing that all three of them share is they're all blast based so that's actually a really good thing you're gonna have a lot of blast attack like blast cards in your deck so i'll start off with bardock here i was actually trying to combo drop right here he actually rocks ella Wee, but he has kid boo on there which is really interesting so i attack there he catches me pvs me right here so he's gonna do his damage with green gold and frieza but it's interesting that he rocks kid boo he probably had doesn't have a rival frieza i would have probably used ella cooler not gonna lie um i know that ella cooler isn't a blast based unit so you kind of want to use kid boo for that and Kid Buu can be pretty annoying. If you don't really touch the guy, you don't, and you're not able to land a hit on him, he can be super annoying to deal with. So, yeah, uh, go to Frieza, nullifies against Titan's advantage with blue card. Sidestep there, I attack immediately. You'll get a combo guard. So I think I go to 17 right here, because if he does go to Kid Buu, I can switch into 18. So I'm just planting, like, landing all these blast cards. And if he does go to Kid Buu, like I said, I can switch to 18 and then pop a blue card. So right there, he stays. And I try to go in the middle right here, and I do pop the blue card. And I think that this barely kills. I don't think this actually kills the freezer. Does it? Oh, it actually does kill the freezer. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. We actually do kill. So, he gets the combo going. We'll go to freezer. And here, one thing about this team is, if you if he rises and rushes me, then I can just go to Jiren, and I can just get the endurance. And if one of my allies dies, then Bardock gets the endurance. So, it's actually pretty dope. I attack right here. And this is where... I actually so I should have went to Jiren right here and attack because he would have popped the rush. I would have known if I endurance, but since he rushed Bardock, Bardock is not going to get the endurance because none of my units died. So right there, I made a bad mistake. I should have went to Jiren and attack, so he would have popped the rush, and then Jiren wouldn't even have died. And you still would have had three units left, all that stuff. So I'm going in with 18. I'm staying with her, I believe. Right, I'm just doing the extra damage. And I think I just rush here because there's no point in switching to 17 because if I do switch to 17, he's going to go to Kid Boo. He's going to tank the rush and there's really no point in doing that. So I stay in with 18 because if we do, don't get Gus. If we don't get Gus here, then we can just, we're just type advantage against Kid Boo. So yeah, we kill here. We don't get Gus. And now it's a 2v1 situation. He can definitely come back from this. Kid Boo can get his advantage back a lot of times and stuff. So right here, I pop the ult with Jaren. Try to PV here, and then this is actually an important class. If we win this, then the game is basically over. If he wins, then the game is not. So I think we barely lose that class. We barely lose. Like I said, Jiren has endurance, but since Jiren is at six star, he's not gonna be able to take a full combo from Kid Buu. And Kid Buu, like he gets key, bro. And I believe he actually popped the green card, so he does get card draw speed. He pops the old card, nullifies endurance. So Jiren is gone. So now. I have to rely on 17 and 18 to get the dub against Kid Boo. The person I can get his vanish back. I already popped my green card with 18, so I can't take his vanish there. So I'm at a bad spot. I go with the blast card in here. I actually sidestep. And I think I actually go four, then I attack. So we class in the middle once again. And whoever wins this class wins the game, honestly. So we do win this one this time. And we're able to get the dub, I believe. Right? We go with the blast card there. And Kid Buu just a very squishy unit, bro. Like, this is what, two cards right there? And that's basically game. Like, he basically died in three cards, the fourth card just to seal the deal. You know, full health, full health Kid Buu. This is a three star 17, 18. I don't know what, how many stars his Kid Buu was at, but if Kid Buu gets a plat, 
focus on that defense, bro. You need the defense. This unit does too many, too many damage, and he can't survive one combo from these units anymore. So, I do like Kid Buu because he's a region unit. But uh, let's hop into the next match. So next match race up against a Super Saiyan team. So here, I believe he does blue, blue, purple. I believe. Yeah, yeah, he does blue, blue, purple. So the person I want to kill is definitely is definitely Super Super Ultra Gogeta. Actually, Super Gogeta. So I'm saying it with Bardock. The reason I'm saying it with Bardock is because I want to ramp up his damage inflicted buffs. He, he got to stay in the battle. I think every three time accounts he gets ten damage inflicted and reduction of card cost. So I'm just trying to stay in with Bardock as long as possible. Go to 17, 18 there. If I do get the combo, all I have to do is just go to 18 and the game is basically done. So I go with the Blast card. He actually does not let Bardock die. So that actually is a good thing. So I'm able to use all these Blast cards and I'm able to switch into 17, 18, pop the blue card. And look at the damage we do to Super Vegeta. Like, crazy bro. Like, I was a three star. If I'd have had him at literally one more star. All I needed was one more star, and now the one shot at uh, Ultra Vegeta. Insane, right? So I know the boost is helping, but I don't know if his Ultra Vegeta was five stars or not. But yo, that's that's ridiculous. That's crazy damage right there. So Ultra Vegeta is doing his thing, pops his main ability, going with the strike attack. So I just go into set the 18 because, like I said, we do or we are we take less damage from blues. So he's 17, 18, not gonna take that much damage. I don't want Bardock to die in one combo. So we just eat the damage here, and I, I try to go up there. I try to pop the green card so I can get rid of his vanish, but he attacks immediately. So right here, I'm surprised that he switched to Bardock right there. So I'm just staying with 18, and he rushes. What he should have done, he should have rushed with Super Gogeta. He doesn't know his kit. When he pops the old card, he nullifies endurance with 30 timer counts. Then he wouldn't have had to go to Bardock and pop the rush against Jiren because. Like I said, he knows by the nurse for 30 time accounts. So I think a lot of people be forgetting about that from Ultra Gogeta, that he does that, but it's part of his kit. It's really part of his kit. So we get the advantage right there because we pop the green card, and then I actually combo drop right here because I had a feeling that Super Vegeta was going to pull up. So I combo dropped there with the old card. He fell for it, and this almost kills Super Vegeta, bro. Like I said, it's really just my stars, bro. Like, these units are doing, like, all three of them are doing their thing. It's just that if I had, like, them at nine stars or higher, like, that would have that would have one shot a Super Vegito. So, here I got rid of his Vanish. He popped the old card. I was like, you know what? Let me just ride and rush him because if I pop the old card with a class in the middle, he might win the class. I might attack him. He might be able to use his Blast Armor in time. I was like, you know what? Let me just rush. Hopefully, we just don't get guests here, and then we can just take out Super Vegito. And then it's a 3v1 situation, and the game is over. So, I just rush. He doesn't guess me. Good thing on my part. And, yeah. So, he goes with Mid-Range Strike. Shout out to 5 9 with the Mid-Range Strike song, bro. You guys need to check that out. Interesting song. Interesting song, you feel me? Iron King definitely carried on that song, bro. That dude was snapping. So, I pop the blue card here. We do take Ultra Gogeta out. And that is game, right? So... Yeah, I, I really want Ultra Gogeta, bro. I still don't even have that unit, bro. Hopefully, I get him an anniversary. Hopefully, I get him an anniversary. So, next match, we're facing up against a movies team. You don't really see movies like that, bro. So, respect this guy. This guy actually brings in Ella Broly, too, bro. You don't, you don't you hardly see Ella Broly. So, here, go with a mid-range strike. And he actually goes to Goku Vegeta. So, I'm staying in with Bardock right there. He catches me there. He's able to PV out of there. So, I should have waited for that. So, here he actually combos, I mean not actually combo, but he actually is, he counters all my units. If he goes to the Vegeta, on Goku Vegeta, he literally counters my whole team. So, I gotta really take advantage of the whole switcheroo thing with 17, 18 at certain times. So, I can just, or like just so I can take advantage of everything. So, I go with the strike card. He goes with Brody. I guess he doesn't know about 17, 18's kit where I can just know about endurance. So I'm just staying in with 17, 18 because there's really no point to switch right now because we're doing good damage at type disadvantage. So I tap him there just to get the extra damage, flick the buffs, and I'm trying to see if I can PV this Broly because this Broly gets stronger every time. Like anything that happens in the battlefield, he gets stronger. So I attack there, sidestep, sidestep twice. He caught me there. I should have attacked immediately, and now he pops his main ability. He notifies cover change. I forgot for how long. Was it 30 time accounts or 20? So I kind of have to let 
jeer and take all the damage until he pops his old card i know that one thing bad about the Broly is he doesn't have that much key he doesn't have a way of getting a lot of key in terms of his kit but he does a lot of damage and have a lot of card draw speed so he i throw in bardock i have to forcefully bring out 17 18 so i tackle there go with the strike card and i just need my last rush that's all i need so i go with the blast there i believe he actually goes to go to vegeta no he has to go to seven uh bird right here so i'm trying to buy enough time to see if I can switch to somebody else in rush, or I'm just trying to just go back to 17, 18. But I think I just said F it. Let's just go to Jiren, and let me just hope. Hopefully, we're able to take out Bird Coup. But from the damage that Jiren is doing, it doesn't look like it. But that blue card shows that we can take out this Goku, most likely, right? I believe we actually take out this Goku. I think so. I think we actually do kill. Yeah, we actually yeah we kill him. So now it's a three. V2 situation. He still has Broly with Blast Armor. He still has Goku Vegeta that can still do a great 1v3 comeback and all that stuff. So, yeah. So here, he actually pops the blue card and he faints me, right? So once he gets this faint, I was like, yeah, this is over, bro. Like, he's going with the damage right here. I believe he actually combo drops, which I was actually super, super blessed that he did that because if he didn't have done that, I wouldn't have been able to win this class right here. And then I think I actually screwed up and popped these blast cards because he doesn't have a blast based cover change right now. He only has strike cover change with Goku Vegeta. I'm able to pop those blast cards, pop the O card, get that AOE effect from Jiren. And that's all because he combo dropped. If he didn't have combo drop, Jiren would have died. He would have had his rush. Everything would have been going his way. So I switched down to 17 18. I think I sidestepped there. I go to Bardock and sidestep, attack immediately. I was surprised that he did not. Rise and Rush or anything, so I just pop my main ability with Bardock because he nullifies endurance for like 10 time accounts. So if he does go to Broly, I'm not gonna be too worried about him. So I didn't pop the green card there because I wanted to save the green card for Jiren so I can get that AoE effect. So just in case I can quickly gain priority. So I go to Jiren right here, sidestep, pop the green card, but he's able to tap me right there so I can't utilize it and Jiren dies. So Bardock does get endurance now, which is nice pop the blue card we barely kill goku Vegeta. i pv him right there we take him out and here basically is the game like bro he doesn't have his old card we're type advantage with 18 if he does kill 18 then we still have bought up with his endurance bro so he can't really prioritize blast armor because he's at low health so he tried to pop the rush try to do a, a long range rush against my long range blast but he just times it wrong and i was able to take advantage of it and they lost he lost, bro. So shout out to him for rocking LL Broly. I might actually make a video on him soon. Who knows, man? Who knows, bro? But yeah. So next match, I think this is actually the last match of the video, I believe. This might be the last match. So we're facing him against a future team. He actually rocks Goku Black Zamasu. I think Goku Black Zamasu value rises a little bit because Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta doesn't buff 17, 18 to LF Cell because he does God Key and Vegeta Clan. And those two are not from God Key or Vegeta Clan. So the is a lot more is, is a tank. He also has support buffs. I think his strike attack, they're both, I mean, the 18 side it does a lot more strike. You have Cell that does more strike. It's more it's a still a blast based team. And he just provides more a lot more sustainability and stuff and destroying Dragon Ball with the blue card, uh, taking Vanish away from his green card. Him and 18 can do that twice. I mean, one time each, which can definitely change the battle right there. So, I think he his value rises a little bit. I'm not saying that he's better than Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, but I think his value rises a little bit because Future is now just not it's not totally based off God Key and, and what's name members and Vegeta Clan members. So, yeah, he pops he destroys my uh, Dragon Ball here. So instantly I pop the I think I popped the blue card because I had a feeling he was gonna pop his at the same time and we're able just to clash. And right there, I was trying to, I was, I was trying to like tap him. That's what I was trying to do. But I should have just picked the strike and just do the full range strike, just to nullify the dirt and stuff. So he rushes here. I get rid of Bardock. I don't know why I got rid of Bardock, but I have a feeling that he had a blue card because that blue card was off his main ability. So I was able to call that right there, which was nice. Pop the green card just to heal up a little bit. No, he actually destroyed my green card, so I couldn't even pop it because every time they land a. A combo they destroy your cards and get buffs so bardock is doing his thing i pop my main ability because we do extra damage to 18 and we do do extra and if he goes future gohan he got low enough help for me to know if i have endurance so this was a really good old card to use i knew he's gonna get rid of future gohan so 
we're in a good spot. Like I said, type of vans get 17, 18 right now. I switch into 18 because we do get an extra card. So I'm just trying to farm my Russ so I can just use the Russ against him. And he pops his green card. We need literally one more. So it's important for me to get this last, this next combo. So I tap him there. And I think I, I think I try to tap. Like I said, every time I tap me, I'm getting support bucks for my allies. So I go with the blast card. He doesn't PV me there. I was able to size stuff. We do get the brush right there. And I believe I just go with the strike cards. And then I pop the, I think, I'm, wait, no, I have to go with the blast cards? Insert. That's, that's real ballsy, great rough. That's really ballsy. So, yeah, I pop the rush. I pop the green card. I think he actually guesses me too. I think he actually guesses me, right? Yeah, he guesses me there. So, it's fair, right? We both guessed our rush. So, I'm actually in a good, better spot, I'm not going to lie. So, I'm waiting for him to size step. I actually messed up the time in there. And he's able to to chain the cards with 17 right here, pop the green card, notifies endurance, 10 time accounts. So he's just able to chain these cards together and slowly heal up his uh, his health, bro. Like all the damage I did, 17, 18, is just, it's all, it's, 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 it's all gone, right? Like he's just, he's just, he's just it's all gone. Like it's insane. So he goes the blast cards. He goes with the strike. I had a feeling I was keeping count on the 10 time account that I knew the 10 time account was passed. So he couldn't take advantage of the special cover change because 10 time account has passed from that green card so we do clash in the middle i think i actually lose this right here which was, you know actually hurt because if I, if I got the combo there i could have definitely killed one of those units with jaren's with jaren's old card right there so here i go with a mid-range strike like i said shout out to five nine switch there just to heal every time i land a card so i'm just trying to slowly heal up and we do take out goku black the monster so now it is a 2v1 situation, I go cast the priority with him lacking with that blast card, and I pop the blue card thinking that this was going to kill. I don't think this actually kills, does it? No, this does kill. This does kill. No, barely. Yeah, barely. Like I said, it barely kills. That's what happens when you have a three star, right? So I pop the blast card here. I think this is my first time popping the blast card, so her vanish is out the way, I believe. So she goes with a full range blue card, and then we just get the dub right there. So overall, these three did pretty well together i just think that it was more of a star thing like there was times where i could have definitely one shot and stuff but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe and we're growing up man i'm out